a lot of times some shit goes down and we fail to realize that there's a reason that happened. In fact, not only is there a reason why that shitty thing happened, it's actually a blessing in disguise. Sometimes we realize, we recognize, we admit and acknowledge to ourselves it is a blessing in disguise. Um, a recent example for me would be when I went outside and saw my car had been hit um, in the parking lot. Um, and where I live, um, it, was, uh, it was snowing uh, overnight. Come out the next morning on my way to, to go to work, and there's a dent um, in the back rear uh, corner of my car. So did I get mad? I didn't. Did I get heated, pissed off, angry, fired up? I didn't. Um, it, now, I, this isn't something I can do all the time without question, right? I'm freaking flawed like anyone else. We're only human. Human, right? So anyway, but I oftentimes find the inner peace to be okay with things like that. So the blessing in disguise. Okay, so my car has a dent in it now. I was going to sell my car. Still owe about, at that time, I owed about five or six grand on my car loan. Um, and I wanted to sell my car and get out of my damn car loans. So I have to pay these car payments every month. And I was going to get a beater. Um, a cheap car that it's a fixer-upper, no car payments. But anyway, so I have a decent car, but I was getting tired of paying the car payments. Was working on selling the vehicle. Now it's got a big old dent. Well, the blessing in disguise is that pretty much changed my plans to I'm just going to keep it, pay another year and a half, get rid, get the loan paid off, and just keep that car and drive it for the next 10 to 15 years until it's toast. That's going to save me a lot of money. It's going to give me a reliable vehicle. So it ended up being a good thing that my car got dented like that. So it was a blessing in disguise. I did not see the blessing immediately when I saw the dent, but I knew that it happened for a reason. So yeah, it ended up working out. So now I have a, a dent in the car I drive. I'm going to have the loan paid off soon. Well, in about nine or ten months. And then boom, I will have a decent car with no car payments instead of driving a beater that I was going to have to put money into and it was going to nickel and dime me to death. Nickel and dime, you know, car repairs constantly, this, that, this, that. So anyway, a blessing in disguise for those of you who are still tuned in. The shit and crap storm that human beings have been dealing with for at least a couple thousand years on this free will planet Earth. All that shit we've been dealing with. All the BS, all the horrible corruption, all the violence, all the disease, all the pain and suffering, all that terrible, terrible stuff. It's a blessing in disguise. I'm telling you, it's a blessing in disguise. And it's so hard to realize this. It's so hard to feel that and acknowledge and understand that when it's happening to you in the moment. Okay? But this physical reality that we call life is very much a dream state of being. This is not the real world. Yes, it's real in one sense, absolutely. But the bigger part of you, the part of you that is normally consciously aware of itself, the part of you that exists beyond the physical. When your body fails to work anymore and you go back to where you came from, all of a sudden you realize the superficiality and the artificial fakeness of the physical reality. The experience was real. What you experienced was real. But it was all for show. The physical world is in your mind, literally, in your mind. But yes, so, the blessing in disguise is that as we struggle through 
this time and have been struggling for a while now, as we make it through this time period and struggle through and come out the other end, come out the other side, the lessons learned, the appreciation for love gained will be so substantial that human beings will have evolved at an unprecedented speed. Human beings, as a collective, are in the midst of advancing faster and further than has ever been done in our history as humans in the physical plane. We are evolving at an accelerated, accelerated rate, and the free will planet Earth and its crap show that it sometimes <laughs> has in it is so that we will advance faster. Now, there are those out there who will say that the other side is corrupt just like the physical world, and it's all a shit show. I am optimistic that that is not the case, that the physical realms have profound corruption. But just about every other reality outside of this physical realm. Now, when I say physical realm, I'm talking about human experience on Earth, at least in this time period that we're living in now and have been for thousands of years. We have amnesia. We forget. The fact that human beings born onto this free will planet Earth somehow have their memories wiped. When I say memories, I'm talking about your core soul memory of all the past lives all of the profound knowledge and wisdom that you have contained within you is like gone. It's not really gone, but you as a human on earth forget. So for most of creation, the, the idea, the concept of being, having the a belief that you're disconnected from all there is, that you are alone, that you are not connected to everything is so alien and bizarre that it, most of creation can't comprehend that. But we're, we're soldiers here on the free will planet Earth. We are setting the stage for great things to come. So all of this struggle we've been dealing with is a blessing in disguise because the net result is going to be darkness, enlightenment. Dark horribleness break on through world peace. Most of creation, who have, where you're going to find a planet, it's going to have freaking world peace because that's how everything is. Peace, harmony, connection, oneness. There is a tiny sliver of the exception to the rule, and we're in the heart of that exception to the rule where shit goes down. Bad things happen. Perceived bad things happen because bad or good is only uh, able to be discerned by the person who's going to judge the difference. Everything is neutral. We define if it's good or bad. The human puts the definition out there of good or bad. There is no good. There is no bad. There is no evil. There is no anything that has to do with duality. So, yes. So yeah, so I guess that's uh, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna stop it there and I wish you guys a wonderful, awesome, awesome rest of your day.